Watch this. And here he goes with the TP on the bridge into the smoke. Okay. Oh. Exactly what we wanted to see. Oh, the timing on the dizzy. Uh, Looking fantastic great. Fantastic execute. Every play. Uh oh. Here oh, he goes. Go. Yes. We did it. We got it. Very true. Oh no. no. All their all their ideas into there. Um, and then the rope lurk. Come in. Yep. It might pay off. Oh, there's oh. Tell, but there's oh. Today, I'm going to teach you five different things that you need to know for the new map, Abyss. Okay, so the first tip here is very simple, and if you've seen anything about the map, you'll know this, but uh, there's these little red barriers here for places that you can fall off and cannot go to before the barrier starts. So the first tip die. is going to be don't fall off the map because you will die. Thrifty. Now, this has some interesting interactions as well that, you know, you might not have initially thought about. But, for instance, if I send a Yoru TP jump. off this way, you know, I'm trying to play B and I'm trying to rotate instead. The TP will also just fall off the map. And if you TP there, you again will just die. Now, there are some interesting little things that I found, you know, with the Yoru TP and how some of the utility, you know, acts around uh, some of the map. Like, for instance, if you use a Yoru TP across this, you can Time just about... Jump. Make it, it will just about make it across, <laughs> you know, if you want to do your TPs like this, so keep that in mind as well. Also, there's some considerations for other utility as well, like for instance, let's say I'm playing Cypher here, and I'm on the A site, and I want to put down a camera, right? So I just oh, put down my spot. camera normally, but what if I want to come and put my camera over there on that wall? Well, the barrier that's stopping me from jumping in also is then stopping me from being able to put the camera over there as well. Right, so there are certain things like this that you have to just consider that, you know, these barriers, you know, extend kind of to infinity, I guess. So you might have to Where wait for the you? round to start, you know, to actually go and put a camera on this kind of wall. Also, one little pro tip about this as well for a second round. Let's say you're on the defensive side and you've lost the pistol round, right? What might you do? Well, one thing that I think you should do is stack here. a site like the A site here and just play five people on the site with your classics, right? You don't have much in the round. You're just going to play with your little classics here. Not really do too much. Stack the site. If they come to A, then, you know, hopefully you can win with a stack site. If they go yeah. to B, though, what you can do is instead of dying to them and giving them the autobs, because you basically have no chance if they go to the other side of the map, of course, then you can just jump off and not give them the auto. <sighs> Okay, tip number two. I do think that this will be a jet map over any other duelist. There's a couple reasons for that. One, it is a fairly big map with a lot of op angles, you know, a lot of angles that you might want to get onto with an op, you know, like something like this, for instance, with a jet. And so I think that that favors jet just in and of itself. It is obviously a very big map. And also some of the mobility, right? Like imagine you're coming out here as rays. You know, if you satchel out here as rays, there is a chance that, you know, you do satchel down out. Right, that you just actually fall off, right? Or as I showed you with Yoru, if you try and Yoru TP, you know, and send one across here, it will just fall off the map. So I think that because Jet, obviously, you're just a bit more in control in general with Jet, right? You just have a better idea of, you know, where you're going to end up with Jet. And because the map is quite big and spacious and has a lot of, you know, things that Jet can updraft onto very quickly and, you know, take advantage of that. I do think that this will be more of a jet map in general, just the way that it plays, the size of it, and uh, and just some of the elements to the map that I think favor jet over any other duelist. Okay, tip number three is to play super passive post plants. This will win you games on this map, 100%. Because let's take the A site to start with, right? If you can get the spike, the spike planted here, which you don't need a ton of control to do, you here. basically just need to make sure that this is safe, right? That they're not seeing you from there. Spike if you get the here. spike planted here, you can just all five as a team come and retreat out, smoke yourself off if you want to. Because look, how does here. a defender clear this space? It's a nice wide open space for you. You have different elevations to play from and play for your spam if you want as well, right? You can have someone lower, you can have someone higher, you can have people on this side, on that side. You can even omen TP up onto this box if you want to as well, you know, get someone up here spamming the spike. Smoke yourself off, put a trip in here, right? Play full cringe of the cringe post plants and it will work. And the same is true over towards this B site as well, that if you see over here, if we can get the spike planted That's in a position like this as well, right, guess what's going to happen? I can play from all the way back here, and guess what? I can see the spike. Oh, I can come all the way up here. Oh, and guess what? I can still see the spike from here, right? So you can be, again, how does a defender clear you out from here? They don't. That's the answer. They just don't. And so just come back here and spam them. You know, just absolutely spam them. In fact, with an Odin, can you shoot through this wall? 
You can shoot through this wall with an Odin, bro. It's over. What are they gonna do? What do you do against this? You lose is what you do against that. Just come back here. And again, same thing. You know, you can just chill down here every so often. Oh, they're on it. Boom, boom, boom. Dead. You know, just play super safe. This is OP. So when you get the spike down, just tell your team, guys, just come and run away. Right? Hopefully they'll use you till, you know, yeah. trying to clear all of this first. You won't be there. You won't be getting hit by it. You'll be spamming. Okay, tip number four, kind of in a similar sort of vein, is that I do think that Gecko will be very good on this map for these wingman plants. Again, you can send the wingman, you know, a very long way with this. But also, if you are in a pinch and kind of don't know how to get the spike down, maybe try this plant, where if you jump and press it at the right time, wingman will jump over this for you, and he will plant the spike in this kind of spot. And again, you can see the spike here from back here. Thanks, wings. You can see the spike from back here, again. You know, I mean, for everywhere else, it's obviously not that great. But if you do need a safe plant, if you just want to get the spike down, you could play some post-plant lineup fringe, of course, as well, if you want to. You know, and get some mollies on that thing as well. It's going to be tough for the defenders to get this because, of course, this is such a narrow angle that if, you know, they smoke you off or whatever, you spam this and it's like, well, where are they going to be? You know, they have to be in this small corridor. And tip number five is don't bother wasting your time trying to do a mid-split. Don't waste too much time on mid as the attackers. It's just not worth it. And the reason for that is, as I just showed you, right? The post-plant yeah. spam, if you can get the spike down, you don't need to have, yeah. you know, any mid control to get, you know, a better post-plant. You can just come yeah. and play back here and it's fine, right? But also, what are you going to do? You're going to, what, smoke off both sides of mid? Are you going to go, like, some kind of smoke there? You know, maybe some kind of just whatever Cover smoke in here, out. right? Whatever that is, right, you're smoking off both sides of mid, you're going to use all those smokes, you're going to use everything you've got. I mean, if you want to come this way, you have to break two doors, right? So you have to go one, two, so they'll know that you're coming, right? So that's kind of obvious. We don't really want to do that too much. We're having to use both smokes. I mean, this is so big and long that by the time you even got down here, your smokes are fading, right? So you just don't even have time to come down here. This is just literally just death, right? Different elevations, different angles. So a defender could yeah. even come from in here if they wanted to, right? Like, this is just not a fun place to be. And as I just kind of showed you, like, all we really need to do is get the spike down just here. Like, all we need to Drop do is take just a little bit of space, get the spike, spike down there, here. and the round is heavily in our favor. So don't overthink it too much, right? Don't I think like, oh, we've gone A and B. We haven't touched mid yet. Like, good, good. Because this to me is kind of icebox-ish, right? Like, you want to lurk mid? Have someone lurk mid, that's fine. But don't be coming in here with four or five people and thinking like, oh yeah, I've got this, don't worry guys, I'm just gonna, let's jump over here as four people. That'll work. No, it won't work. And by the time, you know, again, even if you come this way, right, even if you do make it to this part, you still gotta deal yeah. with this, you still gotta deal with that, you still gotta deal with this, yeah. right? Like, wh where do you go? You know, like, there's still so much to have to clear out. I mean, imagine you do all of that and die to someone here, right? How are you gonna feel when that happens? It's just not worth it so those are some little tips there for abyss for when this map comes out don't waste your time in mid and win some games spamming post plants in the cringest way possible yeah this map i'm not a massive fan of it but subscribe to the ascend channel for more good stuff like this